Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, I'm not discriminating anyone in today's video because the Call of the Wild event is up and running. Yes, it is well underway. I believe we've had four events, it might, I'm pretty sure it's four events so far. I have two of the Jags, okay? Only two, I'm pretty sure there's been four. I definitely missed out on the Apex Predator one. I came 55th, I could have, I could have got that. Uh, car, especially if I had worked on my Jaguar XKR, even still, I'm pretty sure my team was good enough to squeeze a top 50. But with work and stuff, unfortunately, I haven't been able to attack the game, I haven't been able to get my teeth, my claws into this event really so far. But that's going to change now, that is going to change. We're here to attack it. So, two XK120s means I can get to the next part of the challenge, which is the Lancer Stratus. Now, I haven't shown you guys any kind of progress till now because to be honest it's been pretty easy we've had 30,000 20,000 cash I think we've got one of the packs the price have been pretty good and the levels have been fairly straightforward you only need to have a couple of call of the wild cards cars sorry to do it you don't need any special legendary epic even ultra rare cars to get to this point you can do it based off of kind of standard call of the wild cards especially if you just max them out so it looks like they want everyone to kind of get the lance of stratus that's the kind of aim they're going for giving people a bit of cash in the process i think once we get through these three prizes and we start working our way up towards that jaguar rally car it's all going to change I think they're going to ramp up that difficulty quite a few notches so we will come and do this in just a moment but first of all i did just literally just a couple of minutes ago watch wayne warren's pack opening for the ceramic for the cooler of the world and he got the mustang out of it and to be honest you if i can get any ultra rare out of this pack for 599 gold i'll be happy because i have a very 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 sneaky suspicion knowing what i'm like that if i get close to the short tail i'm gonna dump everything i'm just gonna explode my load into whatever cars I have that can potentially get me that car. I want to say now I'm not gonna do that, but I know what I'm like. So to get some extra fuse material, it's probably gonna be needed. Obviously, obviously, I'd love to get an Epic instead, but I'm not gonna be greedy. If I got an Ultra Rare, I'd be ecstatic. So let's see, are we gonna get anything useful? The Fiat Panda, we've already got a couple of these, do not need any more, and oh my gosh. Thank you, Wayne. Without you, I would not have opened this pack. I never opened this pack. I didn't think it was worth it for me. Oh, a beautiful Ford Mustang boss. Not because I necessarily need to build a third one of it, but it can go as a fused material into potentially one of the Lambos or the Dodge if I need to. Oh, that was five ninety nine. Well worth spent. That was lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. I honestly, honestly did not expect that. That is just... Pure, pure, pure luck. But what it does mean, what it, oops, that's not what I want to do. What it, excuse me, give me one second. What it does mean is it means I now have a chance, a chance. Although I will have to do a little bit of investing. I do have a chance, like I have a number of cars. If I really, really, really got stuck, I could level up a lot of these bosses. They do all have medium ground clearance, or could do the power pack instead, it's got a bit more work to it. I have a couple of ultra rares as well. We've got the Bulldog, which we can use with the big top speed. And you know, I might be able to get away with maxing one or two of these epics and just working on one of the legendaries. I might, you know, I might be able to, I might be able to sneak. <sighs> just making me feel feel like I've got a bit more of a chance of getting a short tail than I probably really have isn't it but anyway back to reality so what do we have up and running now we've got the spider sense which we can get some lovely Jaguars from as we can see top 50 there we then have the scorpion valley again top 50 Jaguar prices we move along we'll forget the daily event we come to dead as a dodo which I haven't actually entered yet um, but I've been into just just to see it just to see what it's like but we will come and do this in a moment and finally finally the albatross again so all these events are offering us xk120s you just got to finish in the top 50 but is that possible 
what I do like, and I'm going to give kudos to Hutch on this, they are using completely different cars and requirements in all the events. You know, there's Plymouths here, there's convertibles, no legendaries here. We come down here, we've got some uh, Volkswagens, we've had uh, Fiat's here. You see what I mean? They are actually making people use a vast, vast array of cars. And that is good because it means it doesn't matter what your kind of garage looks like there should be an event which gives you a chance as long as you're not like brand new if you've been playing for a little bit and you've you start working on some cars you've got one or two brands that you've kind of focused on a bit more hopefully there's going to be an event that comes up that allows you to get in the top 50 and start to collect a couple of those jaguars at least a lot of people should be able to get two possibly three jaguars which is actually quite quite a nice touch right let's come and have a look we're going to start on the dead as a dodo because i haven't actually done a race here and just before we do uh something which comes up quite a lot in the forums are late jo excuse me late joiners now i haven't meant to late join this um same with the fear one i haven't played these events much because i've only just started them i've only literally just come in back into uh, back onto the game, collect rewards, etc., and start these events. But how can we stop late joiners? Is something that comes up all the time. And just as I come into this dead as a dodo, what I was thinking, this is the team I was looking to do. In fact, I can't really talk about the two at the same time. Let's just come in. Let's just come in and play a race first, and then we'll come back to late joiners. So I have to run, I have to run three Plymouths and five American Dreams. Okay, all coming under 240 RQ. Now, unfortunately, due to the Plymouths. I don't think I have a huge number of uh, options, so we're going to run with this first of all. I haven't seen what the track sets are like. Good. Okay, I had to assume there was going to be quite a bit of um, <sighs> poo sticks. Yeah, I had to assume there's going to be quite a bit of speed involved because the Plymouths aren't really renowned for their handling, are they? But City Streets is a bit of a yeah kind of thing. So I might be better off bringing in my drag challenger instead. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, interesting. This is this is good. I like this. I like these events when they make you think, when they give you something different to do. You know, as we can see there, it looks like from a Plymouth perspective, the majority of people are probably going to have a couple of Plymouths already, as long as you've held on to them. Uh, they're all going to be American Dream. Question is, they do have the medium ground clearance. Does that mean that the Scamp is going to be a better alternative? Potentially. Let's try it out. Let's try that out. That then gives me a few extra points. Now, if I want to play around with those points, I could go. I could. I'm going to lose the medium ground clearance, though, aren't I? Um, I think. I think I want to keep a medium ground clearance car. I could save one more. But you know what? I could do this. This might work. This might actually work out. Let's see. Obviously, I haven't seen all the track sets. Now, I probably should have gone and checked the track sets first. And that would give me the idea if the Scamp is going to be a car worth building. Because, obviously, we can see all these cars are medium ground clearance uh, with Takuda as well. But they're, as you can tell, not the best cars for city streets. So, let's just see here. Um, This, yeah, this isn't going to work out, is it? And uh, what I've tried to do has kind of fallen flat. Um, yeah. Alright, let's just see. Yeah, if we had the previous track set, I think that this team would have been a much, 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 much better uh, better option. However, with this one, with the twistiness, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm going to probably have to come back and build look to build a team for that one but as I was saying if you want to try and stop people from late joining let's just say the spider sense one for example I think all Hutch have to do is introduce a time a time where people can no longer join events so say event has 48 hours once it gets down to hypothetically let's say the last eight hours you can no longer join okay the event becomes closed so they say with 40 38 hours to go 
no new events are created okay then for two hours people can late join into the all the open servers all the open brackets and then eight hours to go for example done so if you didn't get in that time very much sorry you can't join the event that stops late joiners okay people will have to make sure they join enough in time and will make sure that they have to then play a certain number of matches as well or races in order to get them into into the rankings it, it might not be the best solution but it is i think a solution that hutch could introduce pretty easily just putting a cap at when the latest time that you can join an event is let everyone know and take it from there anyway back to this so we need to use convertibles and no legendaries as you can see here i've pretty much gone for my, my most maxed out cars plenty of rq nothing to worry about this should and we'll play a match this should be okay for me i shouldn't have to fight too hard i'm hoping because all the cars apart from the lotus to be fair are maxed out i'm hoping i should be able to make my way into the top 50 and be done i'm not actually playing these events to try and get um so i'm not actually trying to get the top prizes i'm not even worried about getting the ceramic packs yes if i can get one great perfect so for example in the spider sense uh let me show you the races i've been told before some people like to see the outcome of the races so they can see if they're in the same situation which cars win but yeah i'm not 100 percent sure that i want to focus on leveling up cars for this call of the wild event i want to save all my resources for the challenge element of it so if I, you don't need to get every single xk 120 okay just remember that you do not need to do well in every single event you only need the number that they will require you to get in order to go as far as you want to go in the challenge if you know you have absolutely no chance for example of making it to the mclaren short tail then you don't need to worry about getting five xks you just get the two maybe you need or the three to progress to wherever it is you want to progress in the challenge and be done you, you know for people who want to go out there and win every event and if and if they then start using their resources in i think i'm losing this actually they start using the resources for these events you may regret that when it comes to the end and you need those resources to level up specific cars to get the short tail so in short oh, i'm gonna lose this aren't i poo i would recommend not using all your resources just yet everyone and instead waiting just playing the events and making sure you can get a couple of the xk 120s to begin with don't think oh i need to you know i need to i need to get top top 10 is it no you don't top 50 okay top 50 is all you got to aim for do enough to get there the packs are going to be great but i don't think they are essential if we come to the albatross as well i'll show you this one this is probably another one that i'm going to do bad in it's got the volkswagen times four and an uncommon performance now i tried to be a bit tricky here i tried to throw in the volkswagen for the uncommon which would then give me plenty of points to be my bugatti show on however however there is a slight problem i have a lot of rubbish volkswagens so that didn't work there is rain here so i have noticed that i could do with probably two of the volkswagen phaetons to be honest with you or potentially this lupo they would help me quite a bit i need a bit of medium ground clearance as well um for common common volkswagens yeah if i had the the cabriolet done i would put this in because it is medium ground clearance it could actually be pretty useful but i can't really be bothered to upgrade it for this event so i think i think i've accepted doing fairly badly i think is going to be the way i'm going to word it yeah fairly badly in this event the thing that i am going to do with my common car though is i'm going to make sure it's a standard car with medium ground clearance because there's quite a lot of rain so if we come in here see plenty of points to spare which is normally a good indication that you're not going to do particularly well but let's just come and pick 
pick someone and see the actual track set so we have rain mixture of rain mixture of media um, a medium city streets karting etc i think there is a drag as well in this so you kind of need to bring a bit of everything now slick tires you want to avoid wet at all costs an exception may be on a drag a long drag if it's like a, a beast of a drag car but for anything twisty keep your slick cars away okay your slick tire cars away from that because they're pretty much going to lose against everything now part of the reason for me bringing the standard tire car was for a matchup like this however i've got a feeling that my ford's going to lose it's going to be close right so now what's to do let's think let's think let's think what are we doing what are we doing you know what wait 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 win let's have a look win uh win probably a win i'm gonna take the defeat i think this is the way to play this hand so let's have a look so i know this is a win okay phaeton is a really 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 good car okay i have upgraded mine probably the wrong way as people would say um i do have a second one of it so i might do the 232 uh sorry the 323 version of it but i thought i wanted it to be extra good in the wet conditions with the handling however i do think it's actually it's actually wins more races against itself if it's 323 but still perfect for this go at the moment now this is going to be interesting with the tires okay we'd take a 50 loss i can accept that no problems i'll take that we get the victory here okay even though i still think this volkswagen was a terrible car it's actually becoming more and more useful i think hutch like it i think they have a soft spot for those volkswagens you know they they improved the synchro as well it's like yeah somebody must have bought bought a volkswagen recently i reckon now last match is going to be ours and take the victory so it's always important to remember when you're doing any of these events your aim is to try and win three matches and then lose two as gracefully as you can now my team here i know is pretty trash so i'm not expecting to go far in this event what i am going to hope for here realistically i'm going to leave the scorpion in fact we'll do one race in the scorpion valley just to show you all fiat's that is load of dirt and sand okay so what i went and done is ideally i'd like to bring in another fiat off-roader but yeah i don't have the rq points or a potentially a standard tires i see a lot of people using this fiat panda cross which would be the the swap for me for my fiat punto but because i don't have any of these cars leveled up yet i've just taken a car i've worked on so i'll come and show you plenty of sand Okay, three, uh, four sands here and an asphalt. We come to the next one. Kind of, you know, people, a lot of people using the same kind of cars. So you want to bring those off-road Fiat's if you've got them. If you don't have them and you're stuck with these four-wheel drive, etc., etc., uh, rear-wheel drive, sorry, front-wheel, rear-wheel drive cars, you're knackered. Okay, absolutely knackered. You've got no chance no chance of doing well in this event sorry it's just it's just true so with all that said i think i do something like this i get a victory and i pray i pray i think that i have enough enough people who are gonna struggle in this bracket but to be honest with you, it looks like it looks like i might have to work on that fear and i really don't want to so i'm gonna play safe i'm gonna say i get a jaguar i don't get a jaguar i force myself to get a jaguar in one of these two events hopefully and then that means it doesn't all go down to the bullheaded one for me to get the fifth jaguar if i need it uh, we will see how the time goes though because obviously i am going to probably 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 need a fifth jaguar so I don't like leaving it down to the last event because that puts a lot of pressure, especially if the requirements are cars which I am pants with. So let's just come and collect this Jag quickly. Now I'm pretty sure I came through yesterday earlier and I built my cars slightly just to have them ready for this. So use two Jags. You can play the Jag versus the Jag because the two Jags are in the, in the challenge. 
So as long as they're leveled up, you'll win. So for example here, I can win the Half Mart and I can win the Twisty Road. So I did those two cards purposely, which then means I've just got to match up here. So I've got my Lancer to win the Hairpin Road. Just a note, you do not have to use Call the Wild cards, okay? You just have to use the two Jaguars and then you can use any three cards for the remaining. Then with that done, we've got the Elite Sprint and the Nissan 350Z. I'm not going to show this because these are all victories, okay? Uh, it, it's a guaranteed guaranteed win across the board three stars and here we come so your wards got Lancia on the way oh uh, fail I actually thought that was the Lancia <laughs> I thought that was the Lancia uh, one okay in that case uh, let's do this one Sorry everyone, I won't bother to edit this out. I'll just show you. Okay. One mile twisty. All twisty apart from a one mile and there is one snow level. All twisty apart from one mile and there is a snow level. All twisty apart from one mile and a snow level. Okay, so snow. All twisty apart from one mile. Uh, uh, uh. So which one do I want to put for the mile? We could go car v car, save an RQ point. Mm, we'll go for points. Uh, all twisty. One mile. Uh, I think. I think this does it. I can't actually remember. So, winner chicken dinner Ooh, winner chicken dinner um, why have I got these two in? oh yeah winner chicken dinner winner chicken dinner winner chicken dinner okay so we'll skip this and this will give you an idea of what you can use you can go back and pause it to see the cars I used not too hard okay yes I have used to be fair I have used the dodge there RT but you could do this with just super rares etc so that is the stratus in the bank where are you my beauty where are you my beauty come to papa there we go so first price car in the bag I now need to actually start working on these events and um, because I do want to come and try and show you the next few challenges I will try and do the next five all together because we've got the 50k and probably more price cars coming up so I will do those on camera but until then I'm gonna say thank you everyone for watching as ever I hope you not are progressing nicely in this challenge let me know how you're getting on and I'll see you all soon take care